All right, what's the difference between a storm sewer system and a sanitary sewer system? So it's kind of confusing a little bit uh, because they both say sewer in them. Uh, but a sanitary sewer, obviously, is where all of your waste products go. When you take a shower, when you go to the bathroom, when you run your sink, anything like that, all of that wastewater goes into a sanitary sewer system. Now, in a sanitary sewer system, that water is sent to a treatment plant where it is treated before it is released into a uh, river, stream, lake, water body, whatever. Uh, and then, you know, and then recaptured for use maybe uh, later on in the water cycle. Uh, the difference between a sanitary sewer like that and a storm sewer system is that a storm sewer system is only designed to capture storm water. Uh, what is storm water? Storm water is just water that comes from rain or that comes from snowmelt, right? And that's it. Now, the biggest difference between a sanitary sewer and a storm sewer is that storm sewers are not treated. What a drain hole. A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. Now, this may not be the case everywhere. Somewhere, some, in some places, they do have combined sanitary and storm sewer systems and everything is treated, but that can get really expensive um, and it can be really difficult. So in most places in the United States and in most places in the world, they separate the storm sewer system from the sanitary sewer system and the storm sewer system is not treated so typically you'll see your storm sewer systems as you're going down the street you'll see grates that go down into a into the ground and that's designed to catch runoff from rain or snow melt that water goes into those drains and it brings with it anything that it picks up along the way as it's running down your street, it'll pick up grass, it'll pick up leaves, it'll pick up dirt, um, it'll pick up soap suds if you're washing your car on the street or in your driveway, it'll pick up salt if you're salting your walkways in the winter, it'll pick up basically anything that's on the street, including oil from oil spills, you know, from oil leaks from your cars, anything like that, and it'll take it into that storm drain grate and into your st storm sewer system. Now, the important thing to remember about your storm sewer system is that it's not treated before it gets out to the water body. So those storm sewers, the storm drains, they go down uh, and then they go through a bunch of pipes throughout your city or your county or your area. They connect to a whole bunch of other pipes and then eventually they get released at what's called an outfall. And that outfall typically goes into a river or a stream or a creek or a lake uh, or something like that. All of that water goes out there and it brings with it everything that it's carried along the way it's not treated, so anything that goes down the storm drain will eventually end up in your water body. So keep that in mind when you're taking your trash cans out to the curb and some of that spills out uh, and then it gets carried away and put into your storm drain system. Keep that in mind as you are mowing your lawn or raking your leaves. Um, all of those leaves and grass clippings, those go right into your lake or, uh, or river or stream where they're going to decay and cause algae to grow. That's the difference between a storm sewer system and a sanitary sewer system. Sanitary sewer systems are treated, they're completely enclosed. Uh, the, the wastewater from inside your house goes through the sanitary sewer system and then it's, and then it's treated. Your storm sewer system is not designed to be treated. You can imagine that that would be extremely expensive to treat all of the storm water from any rain or snow melt event. Uh, so it's not done. But that just means that we have to be careful about what we let go down into the storm sewer system.